Hey, you. I heard you are going on a honeymoon with my brother soon. Is that true? And to Sebu. Are you kidding me, you pig? Hey, Lily, what's up with you texting me out of the blue and calling me a pig? Listen, I don't approve of your marriage to my brother, and there's no way I'm letting you two go on a trip alone. Look, Lily, I understand that you love your brother and feel lonely now that he's married, but we've already signed the papers. At this point, it's a bit late to say you don't approve or won't allow it. Maybe our parents accepted you, but I absolutely refuse. You're not fit to be his wife. Leave my brother right now. <sighs> Lily. And can you stop casually calling me by my name? I'm not your sister, so don't treat me like one. I'm my brother's one and only sister. I'm the one who decides whose family. I didn't think I was treating you like a sister, though. By the way, on what grounds are you absolutely refusing this? Huh? It's my rightful authority. My brother and I are soulmates. Wow, that's quite the claim. But if you care that much about Elias, don't you think you'd want to support what he wants? What he wants? My brother would never want to marry you. Well, he did propose to me, though. That's because you brainwashed him. You made my precious brother feel like he wanted to marry you by mind-controlling him. I didn't. I don't even have those skills. If I could do mind-control, wouldn't I just use it on you, too, and make you accept our marriage? Whatever. I wouldn't fall for your brainwashing. I know your true colors ahead of time. What exactly are my true colors? What proof do you have to say that? You can tell just by being around you for a little bit. You just want to snag my brother, the elite businessman. He graduated from a top university and became a lilliger at a major company while still young. He got promoted with top marks among his peers and is respected by everyone. He's got 50 subordinates, gets to work earlier than anyone, and stays later than anyone else. Do you really think an average girl like you could get someone like my brother? I know Elias is amazing at his job. I'm really grateful that he makes time for me even though he's so busy. Grateful? You're just stealing my brother's valuable time. Ugh, it's so infuriating. If it weren't for you, he'd be able to focus more on his work. You just want to marry an elite businessman so you can show off to everyone. Isn't that just how you feel? That's not how I see Elias at all. Ugh, you're such a liar. Plus, our family is wealthy, so it's obvious you're just after the money. Ugh, that's not true. Don't lie. Our family has had this land for generations, and we've got a ton of acres waiting for us back home. My parents own multiple condos, and just from the rental income, we live more than comfortably. Do you think someone who grew up in such a wealthy family could ever be understood by someone as ordinary as you? Sure, Elias' family might be wealthy, but he's never bragged about it, and he lives independently without relying on his family. He doesn't even like luxury. He lives a simple life, which is why we get along so well. Ugh, I don't believe it. You're definitely just after the money and status. There's no way I'm letting you have a happy marriage. So if you understand, give up already and leave my brother. Gosh, I heard you were a handful, but I didn't expect this. A honeymoon in Cebu? <sighs> That's way too bold. I'm the only one who should be going to such a beautiful beach resort with my brother. Cebu has crystal clear water and white sandy beaches. Every picture looks like it's straight out of a postcard. I always dreamed of snorkeling with him to see all the colorful fish and enjoying dinner at a luxury resort. <laughs> right. Okay. There's no way I'll let someone like you go to such a place, you pig. Boss, long time no see. Eliana, how have you been? Thanks to you, I'm doing great. Boss, you're going on your honeymoon tomorrow, right? The paradise of eternal summer. Oh, I'm so jealous. Enjoy Sabu. Thanks. I'm glad you found happiness, boss. Meanwhile, I'm still running the motorcycle club. It's pretty outdated nowadays, right? Yeah, pretty much. By the way, can you stop calling me boss? Just call me Aurora. But I can only call you boss. You're the best leader we've ever had. There's no way I could casually call you by your name. Well, it's fine when it's just the two of us, but don't call me boss in front of others, okay? I'm trying to keep the fact that I was once the leader of a motorcycle club a secret. I know, but you used to say the thing you hated most was hiding who you are just because of what others think. In society, there's a lot to navigate. Don't say things that make me sad, too. Oh, sorry, boss. You're right. 
He left the club fully aware of everything. We all respected that decision, and here I am, bringing it up again. Leaving the club just to get married? Some leader I was. I've always felt really bad about that. What are you talking about? Sometimes it's necessary to compromise your beliefs so you don't cause trouble for others. I really am sorry for what happened back then. Oh, don't say that. Changing your beliefs for the sake of not bothering someone else? That's a valid choice, too. Eliana. Everyone wants you to be happy, boss. We had a blast at your wedding. Thank you. Really? But you know, what we're most worried about is your husband's sister, Lily. Yeah. During the ceremony, her speech was super obvious about seeing you as her enemy. Yeah, that's true. At first, the speech started off normal, but then out of nowhere, she suddenly said, Since my brother chose you, I'll accept it for now, but deep down, I don't really understand it. Yeah, I know. That was the moment the entire room froze. But it wasn't just the words, her expression. She was glaring at you with such obvious hostility that anyone could see it. During the speech, she kept staring straight at you, saying things with this underlying tone like, it's important to me that my brother is happy. But whether that happiness lasts or not is still up in the air, in this cold voice. Yeah, that was pretty harsh. And when she finished her speech and walked back to her seat, I totally caught her clicking her tongue at you. Wait, she did that? I didn't notice. Yeah, I couldn't believe my ears either. She didn't look happy about her brother getting married at all. But she didn't cause any big trouble or do anything directly, so I decided not to make a big deal out of it at the time. I see. That's why I'm keeping a close eye on her as a person to watch out for. I just want you to be careful, boss. It's okay. She's probably got a lot of complicated feelings going on. Well, she didn't do anything more than that at the wedding, so I'm not too worried. But seriously, you never know what she might try next, so just stay on guard no matter what. You left behind an important team just to get married. If you don't end up happy, it won't feel right to us either. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thank you so much, Eliana. No problem. <coughs> Lily, where are you? <coughs> oh, Aurora, what's up? Hey, that was you just now, wasn't it? Huh? Whatever do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. You followed me to the bathroom, knocked me out, and left me unconscious, didn't you? You going to Cebu is totally unfair. That Cebu trip is for me and my brother. You can stay home, got it? But knocking me out was completely unnecessary. Oh, the boarding tickets. Too bad. I took them while you were unconscious. Sorry for hitting you just to get the honeymoon tickets. The plane just took off. I will never forgive you for this. Wow, how scary. But seriously, planes having Wi-Fi these days is so convenient. Where's Alias? How is he? Of course, he's with me. This is a trip for me and my brother, don't you get it? And he hasn't said anything about us switching places? Well, he's definitely surprised, but it's fine. He even says the trip with me isn't so bad. Elias has been contacting me a lot, and he seems really worried. I could tell him you knocked me out, you know that, right? Go ahead and tell him if you want. But I didn't do anything. I just happened to be at the airport to see my brother off. I found the ticket by chance, thought I got lucky, and when I got on the plane... I just happened to be sitting next to him. You literally said I took the ticket while you were unconscious, didn't you? Well, you were knocked out, right? I picked up the ticket just a little while ago. So yeah, I got the ticket while you were unconscious. I didn't say I took it directly from you, did I? You're really twisting things with your sneaky word games. Elias told me this. He was waiting for me while I was in the bathroom, but when I didn't show up by the last boarding call, he thought maybe we missed each other and I had already boarded, so he got on the plane. When I wasn't there, he waited in his seat, and then you showed up instead. By the time he realized, the plane was getting ready for takeoff. Well, that part is true, but now we're looking through a magazine together, deciding where to go in Cebu. Oh, and apparently he's having second thoughts about marrying you. He says he's happier going on his trip with me. There's no way Elias would say that. Who would believe you? You're definitely going to regret this. Huh? Why would I regret it? Too bad for you, but I'll be sure to bring you back a souvenir. Just stay at home and behave, okay? I swear, I'll never forgive you for this. Get ready. Sure, whatever. Wow, Cebu is amazing. The sky is endlessly blue, and the palm trees are swaying in the breeze. It's exactly like something out of a tropical movie. Oh, I see. 
Glad you made it safely. By the way, where's Elias? Of course he's with me. It's a trip for two. He was sleepy on the plane, so we didn't talk much. But I'm sure once he sees the blue skies of Cebu, he'll be wide awake. I'm glad you seem to be enjoying Cebu. You won't be leaving there anytime soon, though. Huh? What are you talking about? This trip is supposed to be five days, right? But honestly, living here with my brother wouldn't be so bad. You keep going on about my brother, but where is he right now? I told you he's with me. Wait, he's not here. Where did he go? You're never going to see Alias again. Too bad for you. What? Why isn't he here? He must have been tricked by someone bad and taken away. No, Elias is already on a flight back home. What? He was so worried about me that he wanted to leave as soon as possible. But since it was a direct flight, he had to wait until the plane landed in Cebu. As soon as you arrived, he got on the first flight back. Why would he do that? He was so excited about this trip with me. He said he's been frustrated with you so many times, but you never listened. How can you twist it to think he was excited about this trip? You weren't even there. What do you know? For the record, I've known my brother way longer than you have. Well, of course. You've been with him since the day you were born. So yeah, your relationship is long. Exactly. I know my brother better than anyone. So don't act like you know him better than me, you newcomer. But the reality is, Elias is already on the flight home. He's finally had enough of you. Can't you see that? No, that can't be. Oh, wait. There he is. What? Looks like he just came out of the bathroom. So that's it. He probably had an upset stomach. I told him to hurry up and board or this would be a mess. What the heck? This is unbelievable. My brother actually left me behind. I was planning on enjoying the rest of the trip with him. I'm just glad Elias managed to get away from you safely. Huh? What do you mean get away? I found him and waved, but he ignored me and got on the plane. He's not answering my calls either. What's going on? Like I've told you over and over, Elias is heading back to America. I thought he'd already boarded, but he said he was looking at souvenirs and got delayed. Why? Why would he abandon me? I'm his family. And when I tried to force my way through the gate, the security guards kicked me out. Well, that's no surprise. You're lucky that getting kicked out is all that happened. Hey, what am I supposed to do in Cebu now? Where am I going to stay? I don't even have any money. Hello? I don't have a ticket to get home either. You have to help me. Why should I help you? This is all your own fault. If he hadn't tried to brainwash my brother, none of this would have happened. I thought I'd finally broken him free from your control. Whatever. I'll take this time to cool off. Though I guess in the eternal summer of Cebu, that might be a bit hard. Damn it! Well, I win. Things aren't going to go your way after all. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I'm on a flight back to America right now. Ugh, no way. Did you really think I'd be stuck in Cebu? Serves you right. How are you getting home? Don't underestimate my people skills. I approached this rich looking guy at the airport, and I borrowed the money on the promise I'd wire it to him once I land. Seriously? That's actually impressive. Now when I get back, I'll finally get my brother back. Just wait, Elias. I'll save you from her brainwashing. Man, you really don't seem to get it, do you? I'm back. I made it to America. Cebu was great and all, but there's nothing like the comfort of my home country. Oh, so you made it back. Are you upset that your honeymoon in Cebu got ruined? Well, that's your punishment for trying to steal my brother away from me. The honeymoon in Cebu got ruined? What are you talking about? It's only just begun. Huh? Elias and I are in Cebu right now. I followed you and got on the next flight to Cebu. Oh, wait, no. But I saw my brother getting on a plane from the Cebu airport. Don't act all tough just because you're upset. It's embarrassing. If you're really in Cebu, send me a picture of you there. Wait a second. How are you and my brother in Cebu? After seeing that picture of us two together, I guess you had no choice but to believe it. No. You tricked me? Yeah. Elias and I worked together on this one. By the way, the person you saw boarding the plane? Just a random guy. You mistook him for Elias. Too bad. No. No. I'm supposed to be the one going to Cebu with my brother. Wait, I'll just use the same trick again. You mean the one where you go around asking strangers at the airport for money? You got lucky once, but don't push it. I'm not giving up. I have to rescue my brother. Gosh. All right, then I'll send in the backup. Huh? Hey, what do you guys want with me? I thought I recognized you. You were at my brother's wedding, right? 
So you remembered. Didn't you call Aura a boss or something? What's your relationship with her? Listen, this is kidnapping, okay? If I call the police, you'll get arrested. Are you sure you want that? What about when you knocked Aurora out in the airport bathroom and stole her ticket? If we reported that to the police, you'd be the one getting arrested. You get that, right? Well... Let's just agree to keep the police out of this. Instead of worrying about the honeymooners and Cebu, why don't we just have some fun on our own, huh? Wait, are you brainwashed by that woman too? Huh? You call her boss and all that? It's not normal. Listen, I'll help you break free from her control. Both my brother and you are being deceived by that woman. <sighs> Gosh, you really have some issues. How obsessed with your brother do you have to be to come up with delusions like this? It's not a delusion. That woman is trash. Her true self is absolutely horrible. Trash? Horrible? Do you have any idea how much Aurora has done for us? What? She may try to hide it, but she was the former leader of a motorcycle club. Not just any leader. She was a big deal. Everyone in town knew her. Oh, so she's just a criminal then, huh? Yeah, she was tough. She could even beat guys in a fight. But to us, who had nowhere else to go, she taught us what it meant to have real comrades. Really? That sounds exactly like something a brainwashed person would say. She wasn't self-centered like you. She always thought of others before herself. She volunteered for soup kitchens and cleanups, did whatever she could for the locals. That's why the people in town respected her so much. We all decided to follow her lead. <sighs> the only time she ever acted for herself was when she made one selfish decision. That decision was to leave the team and get married. So we all want Aurora to be happy. We want to make sure her one selfish wish comes true. Well, so what? I'm just trying to protect my family, my brother. I could care less about your so-called camaraderie. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't understand. That's why we're going to stop you from causing any more trouble. We won't let you bother those two anymore. You! I care about my brother more than anything. I have to break him free from her brainwashing. Well, we're trying to break you free from your delusions. We're almost at our destination, so just calm down. What's going on? Hey, what was that video? There's no way my brother would say something like that. That must have been a fake. As his sister, you should be able to tell. That was the real Elias. No question about it. That video is a lie. You forced him to say it, didn't you? Him saying he's cutting ties with me? Elias prepared that video just for this situation. He knew you wouldn't believe anything unless you heard it straight from him. That's why you recorded a video message. No, you forced him to say that. You brainwashed my brother and now you're making him cut ties with me. You knocked me out and tried to ruin the honeymoon. It's not surprising he'd decide to cut you off. You can understand that, right? No, but... It's no use talking to you. Let me talk to my brother. I can't reach him. He already said he doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Just give up. Got it? No, please, Aurora. I'm begging you. I don't need you to treat me like a sister. I'm sorry for taking the tickets, okay? I'll never do anything like that again. I'll even accept you as part of the family. No, thanks. I'll decide for myself who my family is. From what I heard from Ileana, Lily cried and begged them to let her go to Cebu. But of course, her plea was ignored. She tried to escape by force, but Ileana and the others restrained her. Eventually, she seemed to give up and calm down. As time passed, it seemed she gradually came to accept reality. And even after we returned home, she didn't try to contact us. However, losing her connection with her beloved brother must have been a huge shock. Rumor has it that she's now shut herself in at her parents' house, living like a shell of her former self. But it sounds like she's at least reflecting on her actions, and I truly hope she recovers and gets back on her feet soon. Elias and I had the time of our lives on our honeymoon in Cebu. If it hadn't been for Ileana and her team, I'm sure Lily would have caused more trouble. And I'm incredibly grateful for everything they did. I feel so fortunate to have such amazing friends, and I'm truly happy. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.